I lived a very schizophrenic life. Uh, when you use the word schizophrenic in a negative sense, because people don't ever want to deal with fact, you know, having two personalities, I had five. They took me and locked me up and drugged me. And they diagnosed me with an anxiety that was a rare anxiety. While I was in there, they changed the diagnosis from ambiguous anxiety to a deep character disorder. And they said, there's nothing we can do for you. You'll be like this the rest of your life. Every year, you'll have to come in here and get your system reset. And within 10 days, you'll be back out there and you'll be good enough for another year. And then a man came and told me that Jesus would change my life. I prayed, I got down on my knees on that cement floor and rehearsed before God that I had broken his laws, that I did not know what to do about becoming in his enemy, that I was the reason why Jesus had to go to the cross. And at that moment, I went to sleep. No coaching, nobody told me what I was to say, what I was to believe, what I was to do. No one said a word. When I woke up the next morning, on October the 29th, 1975, I was an absolutely transformed person. Jesus changed my life, took all mental health away, took every bit of vulgarity, took every bit of perversive behavior, took every desire for anything. And you said he took mental health God. away. He took the... Well, I mean, he took the insanity, insanity away. Insanity, the voices well, sure, away. Yeah. Well, I was completely delivered mm. all overnight and with an insatiable desire to know God.